It's Good Friday, March 29th, 2024. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Undeniable Ear Event, and our scripture is John's Gospel, chapter 18. Then Simon Peter drew his sword and slashed off the right ear of Malchus, the high priest's slave. But Jesus said to Peter, Put your sword back into its sheath. Shall I not drink from the cup of suffering the Father has given me? Would you like to have the kind of confidence in your life that lets you live with an untroubled heart? Malchus must have lived that way, but it wasn't always so. The night Jesus was arrested, Malchus was in the posse. He was only a servant, but he was betraying the Son of God. So Peter jumped into action, but he had terrible aim. He took a swipe with his sword, intending to cut Malchus in two. Peter missed, and he just got an ear. Jesus stopped the fiasco, picked up the ear, and put it back on. Now, Scripture doesn't let us in on what happened further, but can you imagine the scene at the Malchus house that night when Malchus came home from work? Let's listen in. How was your day? You wouldn't believe it. Oh, come on. We never talk anymore. Uh, all right. I, I I went to help arrest this troublemaking Jew, a prophet they called him. There was a little trouble. Are you all right? Yeah, I, I wasn't, though. What do you mean? It's kind of difficult to explain. Will you come out with it already? All right, all right. One of, the, one of the prophet's men, a big one with fire in his eyes, took a swing at me with a sword. Oh, my. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, the big slob cut off my right ear. What? Let me see. Hmm. Looks okay to me. Wait, you've been drinking again, haven't no, you? No, no. I swear. It was off. I saw it on the ground. Look at this blood on my sleeve. That prophet stopped the big guy and picked up my ear. Then he touched me and the ear was back on. Not even a scar. Look, if you just don't want to talk when you come home, say so. If you don't have to try to make me out to be a fool. Cutting off your ear, putting it back on. But Come on, dinner's ready. But... From then on, Malchus may have had difficulty living with a troubled marriage and with anyone else who didn't believe his story, but I guarantee that from that day on, he knew. He knew who Jesus was. For you today, do you live with the assurance of who Jesus is? Is he more than just some historical or fictional character? Is he more than a good man, a wise teacher, or prophet? Is he anything less than everything? If he's not that in your life, he can be. One prayer, one commitment begins an eternity of ear-certain relationship with the one who heals cut-off ears and anything else standing between God and you. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.